Pollution Impact Potential, or PIP maps, have been produced to help show the highest risk areas for losses of nitrate and phosphorus to waters from agricultural land. It can be seen as a support tool to show where best to target these high risk areas for further investigation and to identify the right measure in the right place. The PIP maps can be found at catchments.ie. At the top of the page, there is a toolbar. Click on Maps. This will take you into the mapping system. The Ireland page will appear, but the user can zoom to the location that they are interested in. Alternatively, the user can use the search function. The magnifier icon on the top right corner of the theme toolbar opens Search Tools. This provides the option to search by address stroke air code, county stroke town, or by coordinates. Or the user can use the Search Water feature under Tools. This provides the option to search by water bodies, subcatchments, and catchments. As an example, using the search tools, type Castlemata Post Office under address stroke air code. The map will zoom to the searched area. The base map menu button is located on the bottom right corner of the mapping application. By hovering over the base map menu button, the various map options are provided. Click on the DigiGlobe button to see aerial imagery of streams and fields in this area. To view the PIP maps, go to the theme toolbar at the top of the page. Hover over Pressures and Activities. Click Pollution Impact Potential. There will be four layers available. First, click on the slider of the Pollution Impact Potential Nitrate layer. The layer will have a zoom control so the user will need to zoom out by three clicks using the mouse or the zoom function available at the bottom right corner of the page. In the Active Layers menu, click the cogwheel beside the pitmap layer for nitrate to view the legend. There are a range of colours on the map. There are seven different classes of risk of loss of nitrate to waters. Highest risk equals the darkest purple, followed by the pink shades, orange shades, to the lightest colour. The darker the colour, the higher the risk of loss of nitrate. High risk areas for loss of nitrate to water will typically have free draining soils and a moderate to high livestock intensity, with groundwater being the dominant pathway. That is based on freely draining soils and most intensive farming activities. As you can see in this example, there are areas of high risk of loss of nitrate to water to the east and south of Castlemata. I'll turn on the river layer so that it is easier to view the river channels. To view phosphorus risk, return to the theme toolbar at the top of the page. Hover over Pressures and Activities, click off the nitrate map, and click on the slider of the Pollution Impact Potential Phosphorus layer. In the Active Layers menu, click the cogwheel beside the PIP map layer for phosphorus to view the legend. Similar to the nitrate map, there are a range of colours on the map. There are seven different classes of risk of loss of phosphorus to waters. The darker the colour, the higher the risk of loss of phosphorus. So in this case, the highest risk equals the darkest blue, followed by the other blue shades, followed by green shades, yellow shades to the lightest colour. High risk areas for loss of phosphorus to water will typically have poorly draining soils and some farming activity, with overland flow being the dominant pathway. There are two additional maps to help visualise the movement of phosphorus losses across the landscape 
and target where your measure should go. These can be found in the same location as the nitrate and phosphorus pip maps. Click on pip p delivery paths and pip p delivery points. These maps help identify the best places to focus the measures within the highest phosphorus risk areas. Red and yellow lines show where the focused overland flow pathways are in the landscape and highlight where phosphorus and sediment losses may be intercepted. And the points show where those pathways enter a watercourse. So these points within the dark blue areas would therefore be the best place to put pathway interception measures such as riparian or buffer zones, engineered ditches, woodlands. For queries, contact catchments at epa.ie.